Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to the channel. And we're gonna have a little bit of a different kind of video today. I can kind of say this is a current household. It kind of sort of is because obviously this was one of my off cam gameplays, and I showed you a sneak peek of them like twice on the channel. I will link it at the end or in the description, actually, is better. Sometimes I create sims that I absolutely adore and love, and then I end up completely forgetting about them, and this family was on my mind i was like oh my gosh i was feeling them so hard what happened what happened so i just wanted to play with them and i'm like why not film it why not just hang out for a couple minutes or not a couple maybe like 30 but why not hang out and just see what happens you know i'm gonna minimally probably i will say i may minimally edit this video to give it those throwback sims 3 vibes when like no one edited videos they just played all the commentary was just 100 percent like live and in the flesh but right now mind you i haven't played this save in like months probably like three months or so i don't know and so some things have changed so this is the applegate family where i have the mom hillary applegate the brother joseph well son and brother joseph applegate and then my girl here, Corinne Applegate, who is currently on a hookup call. What kind of messiness did I have going on? And I'm trying to sit here and I'm thinking like, who could she be hooking up with? Who did she choose? I know you see Kevin from my let's play kind of casual gameplay that I have on the channel. He's dating my girl Carmen, but in this save file, I have Kevin in here and they're deeply connected. They have a really good understanding. Um, they were like best friends for some reason. I'm so surprised, but they just did not push the envelope for a relationship and she actually really liked him. It's crazy seeing him in an alternate universe here, but yeah. So let me get into this. Oh, okay. So since then, I actually added this sim right here, and his name is Oscar. So I did not create Oscar. Actually, another creator by the name of J 77 also known as Sarah, um, created Oscar, and we exchanged sims. And if we come up here, as you can see, it says Lena became friends with B Denny. In Sarah's save, B is actually a little kid, and I think it's so fresh. <laughs> so i just i love it so i have oscar and he is actually currently good friends with corinne's brother and joseph so <laughs> joseph gives him advice and everything and i made it like the classic story where oscar likes corinne and he's like, please just give me a date with your sister. Just one date. Just tell her to go out with me. So obviously Corinne reluctantly did so. That's why there's a little bit of a little bit of relationship here. They actually weren't that compatible. I wouldn't say compatible, but Corinne was like, this is so weird. <laughs> this is weird i'm dating i'm like i want to date with my brother's friend and oscar just kind of blew it he was a nervous wreck and just should have just been himself but obviously like do you see this sim to date um we're gonna keep it at that but he's kind of cute isn't he like he has this blush on his face like he's always nervous or flustered or whatever and he's just so precious he probably tans so easily and gets so sunburned he's here having dinner with our family poor corinne's laptop is getting food all over and hillary is their mom i'm actually gonna have her like talk to him as well and i think she's eating something too let's have her clean this up i never really got to get into her but we will uh, she wants to be a best-selling author she has dreams of being a writer for sure but she never really got the opportunity to do that she kind of just like gave up on her dreams or something i forgot the storyline behind it to be honest with you because right now she's an accountant which pays the bills she went to school for it let's get into hillary she's literally probably in her like mid 40s early 50s in my mind and she is not worried about where her kids has like going on or have going on she's actually somewhat talking to christianti bell also known as christy i'll just call her christy and yeah they have a little romantic interest she's also around the same age as well i just see hillary just being that mom like she's done raising kids she's there for them but she's ready to live her own life and i just see her sipping wine with her girlfriend and just chilling like I see that from her. I don't know if you get the vibes that I'm trying to throw out here, but 
<laughs> that's what it is i can see oscar constantly complimenting her my like, gosh your mom is so effing cool <laughs> she's so cool and all those things but yeah so she's kind of just brewing up a little romantic interest herself and here we are watching we're watching tv with our sons we're watching tv with our son's friend hillary is actually very close with joseph this is like her baby and she's not really that close with Kervin. she is as close as any mother would be with their child but you know it could always be a little bit better but i feel like she's definitely she definitely sees joseph as like the baby of the family or whatever the case may be and i'm gonna have to go back to that first episode because i forgot who i established to be like the older sibling and the younger sibling i'm not really sure but we need to come in here here's corinne she's absolutely tired and drained um she just came back from her little one night stand and honestly it wasn't that great that's why she feels like complete p-o-o-p -O -O -P. so she's gonna take a shower and get that ugh off of her she just feels like oh this wasn't worth it you know like oh it's so gross she's like oh this is so gross and i honestly don't even know who she went on a sim to date with or hooked up with <laughs> i don't know who but so corinne um we should probably Oscar, you should probably go home. Oscar, literally, if you watch the show Sister, Sister, he reminds me of, uh, what in the world? This bed? Oh, I deleted all that CC, so I have, look how trash this looks. I deleted <laughs> CC, so I gotta fix this. Wait a minute now. Do you see all of this? I have, like, all of this stuff. I'm gonna, like, oh, I kind of like this. Okay, mom, you can get this. I need to like I have so many things that I need to fix it's ridiculous right now I restarted my build folder so that's why this looks a little bit of a hot mess but we're gonna fix it we're gonna get her we're gonna get her nice and fixed and I don't even know what to I'll just do this for now uh, I know it I know it doesn't look the best but oh I remember I, had, I think I had this brown or something whatever okay I'm going to worry about that. That means Corinne's bed is not the same either. Yeah, she had a different bed than this as well. Let's just put like one of these lights because I don't really know. Um, and I think that's fine. Corinne's room obviously needs <laughs> some type of makeover. So, oh, and I think I had a mirror here. I'm going to have to like update their room, but I don't want to spend any more time in build mode. But Corinne's room was very like clean and everything too. She was a cheerleader in my mind from... Um, and high school look at my cutie she is so precious look at how beautiful she is she literally looks like a barbie she needs to chill out <laughs> my sim looks like a barbie so we may um we probably don't even need to talk to her mom really let's have her just go to sleep for now so corinne wants to be a what a master mixologist i had a custom aspiration for corinne that i believe i'm going to change it now before I had an aspiration where she wanted to be like a blogger or something like that, which she really did. She loves writing and expressing herself in that way. I'm just going to do living life because I have no idea what I want her to do. This is created by Midnight Tech, by the way. And right now she is a story researcher and the arts critic or critic career, I mean. And I wanted her to be like a food critic. I don't know. Food critic or art critic. I never play with this career, so it's kind of fun. The quirk about Corinne is that she genuinely dislikes writing. And it's because her job has made her hate it and despise it. It was always her one true, like her one true love her passion but she also likes photography so corinne kind of just doesn't know what she wants to do in life and i think i create sims like that often and it's a little repetitive sis i know but i think it's because i sometimes have like a lot of moments like that like i'm like oh my gosh like what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing with my life someone tell me please help me out here but i i love this place um also their home i know you're probably like where is their home from it is actually by sim lissy sim lissy is such an amazing builder this is such a cute lot and we have some yoga stuff out here 
But what do we have to do? I just, just give me the holidays. I didn't add any holidays in here, which I probably should have. Mm -hmm. The kids are heavily influenced by their moms. So I forgot to tell you that Joseph, the brother here, actually is a bank cashier. He works at a bank, nothing special, nothing spectacular. And his mom works in financing, you know, she's an accountant. So it goes kind of like hand in hand. He does like programming, fitness and dancing, snowboarding. So he's pretty like a simple dude. He was a party animal he loves video games so i might have him try and do some streaming on the side which is something i really wanted him to do um and just kind of like be a gamer he would actually be really happy to have a child which is crazy he's very family oriented loves his family so much and that brings me to the point that out of all the sims that i've had he is actually the sim that is full-blown dating or actually engaged they got engaged um secretly with zoe patel and i remade zoe gave her a little makeover i absolutely love her i probably should just have a lp where i just play with this sim but um he's absolutely smitten and connected with her they're in love um in my eyes when i was playing with them i felt like they're very good friends and they're very close but i didn't know if joseph if this was the route that joseph really was going to take for me, for for me, my radar, like for me, my gaydar goes off with Joseph. Even when I made him, it was like I felt in my soul that that there was more to him. I felt like mm, him and Zoe, like I love it, but it feels a little forced. Not forced, but it feels like there's something about Joseph that we all don't know that jo that Zoe totally understands and gets. And there's something that he's trying to he just hasn't discovered himself and with the sexuality update i love that we can kind of define that oh he wants to have a party anyway he needs to go visit zoe because i need to tell you why this is kind of sticky and corinne you should probably wake up because you're pretty hungry love and no more one night stands corinne get it get it together because like what in the world she needs to like make her own she needs to make something Ooh, we have some snacks we can make let's just make a let's just have some strawberries she's so tense and we don't care about the dreams and fears that everyone has let's have him stop playing this game and let's have him like take a shower he's so bored he wants to have a party hillary's probably gonna sleep and she actually has work in like two days so she's cool i just let her do her own thing <laughs> like i just let her do her own thing what is what is this chat with Eleanor and read a book at the library? She wants to read a book at the library. She's so mad right now. And it's hilarious because girl, why are you so mad? Let's go ahead and write this column since we have our strawberries and everything. Strawberries and coffee. This is a good oh, breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Um, mom's just like, hey, good morning. And she's like, hey, ew, you're eating leftovers. <laughs> but we're going to talk to her just some small talk mom is all about that small talk like everything all right yeah blah blah, blah. what'd you do last night mom really <laughs> yeah did you work out last night mom seriously like she just you know they have a good relationship they're not like i said like super duper close but it's clear her mom has a favorite and it's joseph but she you know she loves her kids period but i'm gonna go show you zoe really quick because it's just it's so complicated and i'm gonna also pop in and show you a sim that i was supposed to kind of intertwine in my story here mind you this is all off cam not a let's play not a not anything like that it's following up on the current household that i did a couple months ago or like two months ago i think that was and my favorite thing about this family is that i feel like we could always just have conversations at the table in the morning corinne would be busy working on some writing things and absolutely hating it she's focused right now but trust me she hates this she actually has a genius trait which i didn't know genius bookworm alluring insider neutral regarding having children which i love this mod really knows my sims because she is neutral regarding having children she doesn't want kids but she's not totally against it either so this is my map and most of the lots and everything interesting is in oasis springs because this gameplay just mainly takes place in oasis springs it was one of the gameplays where i just wanted everything to be huge and not float around in different worlds so i have all of like i have a vet clinic i have a restaurant i have you know a bar wellness center 
another restaurant and it gives like a cali kind of vibe a little bit cali arizona i don't know <laughs> but let me go to zoe so okay we'll visit easton after but let's go visit zoe really quick so oh yeah and also oscar lives with johnny zest they have similar energy for some reason to me like i'm totally assuming with that but they just do um i also have angel angel sands here i made her also because i wanted her to actually start dating kev and like her and corinne become friends and i never did that which is crazy and then i have kevin with trent which is actually my husband sims these are both my husband sims and i love them so much this is zoe's place let's go ahead and knock on the door here hey babe hi honey mm, i miss you do you want some breakfast or something <laughs> send to mccain you know what it's been wonderful to spend time with you we've made some great memories and we'll make many more i'm sure of it i gotta take a picture of that isn't she so precious she's so cute i love her Ooh, another hug but yeah so the thing with zoe is let me check on this actually okay so when we left off i thought she was pregnant but she's not i must have confused that with the very many other messy gameplay things that i have going on <laughs> the only big thing was the whole engagement okay that makes me happy because i i just didn't want to feel rushed and i'm glad that i didn't like really rush all of that and why does he have some elote in his <laughs> he has a little he just brought some he had just has some in his inventory okay that's fine um they have a lot of cute pictures a lot a lot a lot let me like actually set something up here like do you see how many cute pictures we have like look at this we have so many cute pictures beach days and where is it like i think this is when we first started talking this is at her place so i actually think i'm going to create a copy of that and then um and then put this up i think that'd be really cute so yes let's go eat some yeah she's like oh thank you for bringing lunch or breakfast <laughs> let's just we'll, we'll put it here there we go cute but they're literally so cute i honestly um love them together i really really do i just think that he thinks that zoe's a beautiful person they have a lot of laughs together they get along very well they're very compatible but um she's someone that he trusts with anything and i think that's what made him attracted to her in that way that he can trust her with like I said, just about anything, he can ask her anything. She's an open bug. And let me test this out. I haven't tried out bed make out. I think I have a better romance mod in or something. What is that? That's definitely a mod. But yeah, like he's trying. He's trying to give himself to Zoe. And, you know, unlike his mom, he wants to grow old and have kids and he thinks that's kind of like how you have to do it and oh zoe wastes no time they're very close they're very very close and i have to go over here because i don't know if youtube would be like oh my god not not sex on the screen like that's literally kind of like what it looks like because they are going at it but what i want which i think i'm gonna visit this residence right now with just myself i want to show you a sim that is supposed to coincide with this well, game actually play. we don't even have to go inside um but this is the sim right here his name is ashley easton and i'm going to give a cheerful introduction like hey sorry you know i, I saw your cat uh dixie running out here <laughs> yeah my uh my girlfriend or my fiance's house is right here and i just saw your cat so um let's go ahead and also introduce ourselves here ashley is a sim that um that was supposed to come in and shake some stuff up, okay? <laughs> and this, he, he was supposed to shake some stuff up. Um, he's so hot, and I made him. This is my sim. And no, none of these sims will be on the gallery. I don't even know if I put Corinne up. When I'm playing with a sim, or if I really like a sim, I don't put them up because I'm just that weirdo that gets attached to sims, and they're, like, recyclable to me. So if I put it on the gallery, it's because, ah, I'm okay if people play with it and they do what they want. They stretch their face out, do, put whatever whatever they want on them but some sims i'm like nah i, I just i want to keep them to myself so yes i'm that weird <laughs> just want to answer your question now just want to answer your question now we're just talking chatting you know but yeah ashley um he's um he's pretty cool you know he's pretty cool 
<laughs> and uh, you know, we're just here, just meeting him for the first time. I might as well do this while I'm here with y'all. And uh, he's very neat. I'm not gonna go inside because that's weird. We just met you. You know, I'm just here because that's all your cat running out in the road. And uh, yeah, all right, see you later. He's like, alrighty, but. Yeah, so that's that. Let me save that. The last thing I want to talk about and show you is something dealing with Corinne. Um, I forgot to dip into her love life, which is so wrong of me. But she doesn't have a lot going on. But recently, we have been talking to this guy here, Palav Sen Senne? I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Please correct me in the comments. I'm cool with that. He is created by Stones on the Rope. Uh, he is actually part of a family, and I love it because his family thinks very highly of him you know and all that all that good stuff all we know is that he's a little jealous which i uh, wish we would have discovered that last anyway he was a sim to date but we have as you can see corinne feels like they're growing closer from quality time because he calls every now and then you know he does a little something something um we could probably even go somewhere with him really quick just to just so you guys can you know put a name with a face and here is oh he is so cute okay here he is so this guy look at him he is he's so cute um he's cute he's typically not what corinne would go for he's definitely a little bit more serious he is established in my eyes and actually here's his dad <laughs> here's his dad his dad is right here he's probably like stop it stop it she's not good enough for my son what are you doing what are you doing look this is my gameplay this is his sister prisha which is crazy did he invite his family on our date and this is his mom that is the weirdest thing that's that so they're kind of talking a little bit and she is hoping to kind of make it something he has money he is a scientist and she's kind of going out the box with it but they're kind of compatible so i'm not sure what corinne's gonna do with that i kind of started that and then left it there so let me know what you think from everything i've told you so far from this current household and if you were me you're in the player seat what would you do next what would you do next i want you to tell me um his sister seems pretty cool <laughs> but these sims like i said this family was created by sims on the rope and yeah i'm i have to have his sims because they're just amazing but i hope you all enjoyed my little current household update after months of not playing with them i want to start playing with them again that's just where i left off and i don't know where i want to go next so like tell me help me out here let me cheat up her bladder really quick don't do that um oh god thorn you're you're a washed up celebrity now no one cares about you sorry boo <laughs> <laughs> no one cares um can we take this table all right let's sit together but i hope you all sit sit but yeah he like i said is is very serious he's so handsome so handsome but yeah i don't know if corinne's just dating him because she's just you know this is something different this is something different for her or or if they're really compatible if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um if you want more videos like this let me know sorry if i'm talking so quiet it's like six in the morning i'm filming this but yeah i love you all so much if you enjoyed this don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i'll see you in the next video all right peace out